Yo guys, what is up? Slim Shady Gaming here, here to bring you another video. Um, on this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make amazing overlays and have amazing overlays for free uh, with this basic tutorial. So anyway, stay tuned in order to know how to get these awesome overlays. So, the first thing you want to do in order to get these amazing overlays is, of course, go on your PC. If, um, if you do not have a PC, then uh, you can, can probably try this on your mobile device. It probably is going to be very difficult. But uh, this tutorial is for any PC and uh, for any OS, so you can definitely use Linux, Windows, Chrome OS, and all the other ones and so on. So, um, anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to launch your uh, internet browser. I would probably prefer, I would mostly prefer Chrome. If uh, you guys are going to be um, using any internet source. But um, once you are on here, you're going to have to go to my website, which is slimmachinegaming.weebly.com forward slash store forward slash c1 forward slash featured underscore products.html. I will put this in the description below for you guys to uh, go to. Um, I'll make sure I put everything here in the, dis you know, in the description below so you guys are not lost. And uh, if you follow me along the way in this tutorial, you guys will be good to go. So, the first thing you want to do is once you go to the website here, uh, you guys can check out the website if you like. But if you just want to get into the tutorial real quickly, just stay here at the store. Uh, you're going to scroll down right here. And um, please read this if you like right here. I'll read it for you right now out aloud. Uh, if you want to make overlays for your videos now, please download the zip file below. To edit overlays, you can go to photor.com. To edit text and pictures on your overlay. Uh, I will show you guys that in a minute with Photor. Uh, you can also view the overlays on the bottom left before downloading the file. Uh, don't worry, this is all made by me too, so if you have any questions about the site, let me know. But um, usually uh, we're going to be going to Photor in a little bit right here, but um, what I want to show you guys right now is before you download uh, the zip file down here, you just want to get right into it. Before you do that, anything at all, uh, make sure you come check out ones on the bottom left here. So in case if you're disappointed with these, or maybe not, maybe you just want to check them first before anything, you can definitely do that. Uh, so you can just see all of them right here. So there's seven, eight, only um, one, two, and six are face cams. So just know that for any future um, things. <laughs> but um, as you see, there's a really, really lot of cool ones right here. Number 10, um, I have a remake of this. All the way over here without face cam so that's really cool uh, 11 here is a minecraft one uh, here's another plain one but um all of them are really cool and they all could be useful for things such as youtube twitch and so on so definitely um make sure you check these out if you have not uh, a lot of these i have edited on my own and um some of them i have found online by edited them and took some text out that people put in there for their uh stuff on there uh, that they made so I just made sure I blanked that out for you guys in order for you guys to edit as well. So that's really cool. Um, and also know that I'm not getting any money for this. So there's no thing with anything really. So nothing really bad is going to be coming out of this. So you definitely can use these. It is definitely 100% uh, virus free. So you definitely can't get any viruses from this. So you're good to go. Uh, all you have to do is just check out these if you want one. Just uh, make sure you go over here and download the file. So we're going to download it right now. As you see, it is downloading. It is now finished. It only is uh, 2.7 megabytes. So don't worry anything about space. So um, you'll be really good to go. That is if you have a really, really crappy hard drive that can't even hold one megabyte. I'm very sure at this point in time, everybody has a hard drive that can hold at least a couple gigs. So... Um, what we're going to do over here is we are going to check the file that we just downloaded. Now, the next thing you're going to do is unarchive the zip file. So you're going to click it, right click, and open. Once you open this file, it will bring you this folder of pre-made overlays by Slim Shaney. You're going to bring it into the downloads folder. And once it is in the downloads folder, you can delete the zip archive. 
or um I don't know if it's going to do anything, but if it does do anything, then uh, keep the zip eye cry fire until you're finished. But if uh, you feel like um, you know, you're know you okay without the zip file, you can delete the zip file. Just make sure you have the folder with the overlays so you'll be good to go. So me, I'm just going to delete it. Now that's finished, I can exit out of here. And what I can do from over here is go to photor.com forward slash editor forward slash index dot html i'll put that in the description as well but uh once you get to there it will bring you probably to its regular uh site and it'll probably be on the bot you know top right over here of the things that they got right here or if you go to this page it'll be here on the top left as you can see but what you're going to do is you're going to go to design this is all new so this is really awesome it really works out well too but uh you're going to click on custom you're going to scroll over here and resize it to 1920 by 1080. Once you do that, as you see, it looks really nice. This is what the video size is going to look like when you make a video in general and upload it to YouTube. So what we're definitely going to be doing from here is we are going to be uploading a file. Now, um, if you want to now, uh, just letting you know that none of these are transparent. So uh, you're going to have to make sure you do that, but I'll show you guys how to do that as well. Uh, so you can either do it right now or I'll do it later if you want to. Um, I already have, you know, <laughs> right now as you're watching this, I put a time down for um, the part where I talk about the transparency on them. But for right now, I'm just going to show you guys how to edit your uh, overlays. So uh, let us go into the pre mode overlays by Slim Sheeny. We are going to um, choose one of them. I'm going to choose number six since that one's is uh, since that one's one of my favorites. So as you see, it's a really nice purple. It looks really good. Uh, we're going to make sure we fit it to the right amount. So see, look, got to size it up a bit. Make sure it's tall enough because it, um, if it's not tall enough, then of course you're going to be seeing some uh, white lines along the side of the screen. And make sure it's not too short either, or else you'll still be seeing white lines. So just make sure this is all cropped correctly. For some reason, the fit the screen tool. Uh, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't work. As you've seen in this time, it just did work, so that's really good. Uh, just note that all the time it might not work, so just make sure you keep that in mind before anything. So I just fitted it, it to screens. So now it looks pretty fine. So just know that before anything. So. What you could do from right here is you have two options right here for text. You can either use the Photor text here, or you can use some really cool text from textcraft.net. I'll make sure I put that in the description as well. So um, the first thing we're going to do is use the Photor one. So I'm going to put one up here, and I'll put one down here. So um, for this one right here, I'm going to put it down there. So I'm just going to put uh, subscribe. Oh. All right, so as you see, I just have subscribe today. So if you just want to put that down there in order to, um, you know, get people's attention, you definitely do that. So make sure you highlight this, click purple, depending on which one you have. This one's all purple, so I would make it purple so it kind of fits in with everything. Um, there's a lot of really cool fonts that you can choose from. Me, I really like the, oh, I have to find it real quick. It is in the M's. It really fits well with this one. So if you want to use uh, this uh, overlay, I'll show you guys the one right now that I really recommend over a lot of uh, other fonts. And the one is Monoton. As you see right here, it looks freaking amazing. I really love it. Really nice uh, font. So um, usually you can change up the size of it. So I'd probably do that if you want to fit it. So now that we are right here, we're going to size it down a bit more just so it can fit on the bottom. So we're going to go down a little bit. Make sure it's not too small. Make sure it's not too big. So as you see, it looks really nice from how it is from over here on this angle. So we're going to size it out a little bit more. Um, now that we have that finished, I'm going to show you guys the other thing right here, which is TextCraft. 
So for this, we're just going to put my name in. Make sure you click create every time you edit something right here or else uh, it won't show up. So um, what we're going to be using for our font is we're, we're going to be using the Graphico font. And uh, I'm going to show you guys right here. Just click the arrow if you want to scour through them. I'm going to click on the E right there because that looks very nice. Now if you want to, you can use a 24-bit glow. I'm going to use the glow right there. So I click them both. So now you're going to see it glow up a bit right here. Now the glow, if you just click it in general, uh, the font or the in the color that you used is going to be determined by that glow but if you want to change up the glow color you can always click in the paintbrush and then click the pinwheel and then it'll show you guys the colors that you can use but uh, i would use this in order to make it really fit so just click glow 24 bit color and uh keep uh those four checked and um choose your font your color and uh keep everything else as it is and it'll look good as this right here as you see so what we're going to do from over here is we're going to download it when it is uh once it is downloaded we're going to go right back to the photo tour application or the photo tour um online site so you can exit out of this you can exit out of this if you like that is if you um want to put anything else like social links or whatever but i'm not putting anything too special in so i'm just putting in a couple things and that's it so uh, we're going to go back to the downloads over here. It's going to be in your download section. So just note that as well. Uh, the good thing about uh, using TextCraft is when you finally get the text is um, you can actually move it around a lot easier than you could with the regular text on Votor. So it, uh, it does take longer to put on to uh, Votor, but um, it definitely is easier process of moving it around than changing up the font and having to move it everywhere. So I would probably suggest using uh, TextCraft as um, the most reliable source. So now that we're finished with this, uh, we can def we can uh, save it now. So we're going to save that real quickly. Uh, we're going to name it to Overlay EX for example. Uh, we're going to set it to the highest quality. Make sure you set it as a JPEG. So always know that before anything. I don't really think it does anything. You have it in PNG. I don't really know if it will. But we're going to set it to its highest quality and 201 kilobytes. So we're going to save it to the computer. Now, once we save it to the computer, we're just going to click save. And it will be put in our download section. As you see, it just came up right now. So this is what the new thing looks like right here. As you see, it is not transparent, but we are going to fix that right now. So we're going to leave this page. Now, you can use either an online... Um, you can use an online, uh, you know, transparency editor. I really think those don't really work out as much. So uh, we're just going to be doing this by mobile. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So uh, what we're going to be doing right here is we're going to upload the photo that uh, we just edited. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to give it one plus. But um, we're going to choose the photo that we have finished uh, up. So we're going to upload from the computer and we're going to upload the overlay once we have uploaded this overlay uh we can share it so make sure uh you did not share it on you know make sure you did not share it with uh everyone else make sure you share it privately by yourself or if you want to you can share it online and show people what you have made fully up to you but um for me this is you know nobody's in here so uh nobody will see it other than me so i'm just going to share it so we're just going to say, uh, put here new, new overlay, just cause we're going to share it. And then we are going to have it in here. So as you see, we have just finished that up. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to go on our mobile device and we are going to download a transparency app. I'm going to be on iOS on this one. So you could just probably look up a lot of transparency apps on Android and see what you can find. I'm very sure they got a lot of good ones on there. So I'll see you guys on the iPad. All right. So hopefully uh, you guys can hear me kind of clearly. But uh, what we're going to be doing from over here is we're going to go to Google Plus right now. And as you see, if you sign into your account, uh, you'll see that this comes up right here. And it should be private it'll say shared privately so the thing what you're going to do now is you're going to uh, save it 
So we're just going to save, download. It'll probably say download or save either way. Uh, we're going to exit out of this now. Alright, so what we're going to do is you're going to look up a transparency app. I have one right here called Back Eraser. Uh, I think it's called something different, but you'll see that logo right there. It's a really, really nice app. Really amazing. I really like it. So, um, let us put it in there. Alright, so now that we are in here, we are going to transparency. As you see, you just click the target area right here. Or if anything that has, like, a magic wand that usually automatically transparencies it for you. You're just going to click it. And as you see, it is now transparent. So we're going to save it. Now, uh, what you want to do is make sure you save it only as a PNG. If it saves as a JPEG, it's going to be a white background, as you can see from the picture right there. So we're going to click on PNG, high resolution. Now that you're finished with that, we are going to upload it straight back to Google+. Now, once we upload it straight to Google+, uh, we're going to download it straight back from the computer again. And then once you're done, you may be able to... Um, you know, use it as you please in a video. So let's uh, go right here. Let's tap check mark. And let's click here. As you see, here it is right here. It looks very nice. We're just going to pop it right back in there. And, um, and we're going to put it right here. And one thing that you can do too after you're done downloading this right here is uh, you can delete all the posts that you made of your overlays. So. As you see, the post is now completed. So now that it is completed, I will see you guys back at the computer. So let's go to the computer. All right, so now that we are back at the computer, I'm going to refresh it, and then it should definitely pop up. Now, as you see right here, it has just popped up. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to click on it. And then it should show on the top, or, um, yeah, it should show over here that we may be able to download it. So uh, let's see right here. We may be able to get it in the download more. Here it is. All right, so now when we go to more, it'll say download photo. You just download the photo. And uh, it should be around 300 kilobytes since uh, this is in really good quality compared to when we had it from beforehand. So just know that, for example. Now that we are finished this, you can do things like delete them. So we can click delete post. So as you see, I'm just clicking delete post um, now that, you know, because I've done this tutorial a couple times, but it didn't really work out as much. But um, we once we have those all deleted, we can exit out of Google Plus now. And uh, one thing that you can lastly do, if uh, you're really done and you don't want any more of them, you know, if you really don't want any more of uh, the overlays and you just wanted the one that right here that I got right here, for example, as you see right here it'll probably come up as white for right now but it will be transparent in your videos but um uh once <laughs> if you definitely want to you know delete the rest of your overlays you can just go right here and we can just delete it so we're going to go back to downloads we're going to delete the pre-made overlays by some cheney we can go right here usually i have to open this first in order for it to get deleted there we go so now once it's deleted, uh, you guys are really good to go. You can delete the Slim Shady Gaming PNG. So let me delete that. And um, let me delete the I image PNG. Or actually, I'll do that later. But as you see, we have this. And mainly now we're done. So anyways, I hope this really helped for you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, if you want me to make one an overlay for you guys, uh, just let me know. And I'll definitely love to do that for you. Anyways, have a great one and peace.